What's happening, party people? I'm just going to stay like this. So it looks like I'm a cardboard cutout. She is. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday to you. Top of the morning. Yes. So Nathan has some things that he would like to talk about today, and I just thought I would be here for moral support. It's a very, it's a very heavy subject. You think? I think. I don't think so. I think. I think she's taking this. We're a yin and a yang, so that's why we just, we just go so well together. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> All right, got a question for you. Whoop. Yep. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, so how many of you have been on a plane? Yeah, you've been on a plane? You, I told you, I knew you were going to do that. I knew she was going to do that. I said, don't knock over all of my stuff. We got madness going on here in the war room. Gonna, We've got lots of stuff. You I can't see it. Piles, no. piles of piles. stuff. Yeah. Um, I have a wide wingspan and I, I'm can't, doing, I cannot be contained. Doing research. We've got a lot of research. Got a lot of notebooks, a lot of books out. Because we're, we're, we've got some good stuff coming down the pipe. Things. Down the pipeline. All right, so back to what we were talking about. All right, before. who's been on a plane? You've been on a plane, you've been on a plane. Drop an emoji. Drop an emoji. A Drop emoji. a plane emoji. Maybe one that's taken off or landing but not crashing. Um, it's too soon. It's too much. So, obviously, you've you've done the, uh, the safety brief before. You've heard the safety brief, right? And one of the things they talk about is that you need to put your own oxygen mask on first before you can help somebody else, right? I use this analogy a lot because it kind of brings it home for a lot of people because they're like, oh yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I should probably take care of myself first. Because a lot of people use the excuse that they're so wrapped up in helping other people that they allow themselves to go. You know, I, I when we're talking about fitness and weight loss and health, uh, I'm trying to get your health in order. I hear a lot of excuses from, from people that say, oh, well, you know, I've got kids and I have uh, a job and I have, you know, wah, wah, wah. But really, if, if you have kids or if you have older parents that need help, the main thing is to help yourself first. Because if you don't have yourself squared away, then you can't help anybody else because you're going to go down. And we talk about this in the military, that every part of our unit, every part of our group you have to make sure, number one, that your lane, you as an individual, as a soldier, are squared away. That means it's your health, your fitness, um, every, everything that we need to do about the mission. Um, you need to know everything for you. And then you need to know your battle buddy's um, job. Or you need to know at least one other person's jobs just in case they go down. You're able to uh, do their job. Okay? But it all starts with you. And we've got to take responsibility for ourselves first. And this goes into what we're talking about with leadership. Okay? Real leaders, you can be appointed a leadership position. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you deserve it. For instance, um, sometimes if somebody outranks you, you might they might get a, a leadership position that somebody else would be better for, but politics comes into play and somebody gets uh, gets another position. Or if you're on a team, like a, a sports team, I was listening to a podcast today, they were talking about, and I don't remember what team it was, I don't watch a lot of football, but it was the New York Jets, and the New York Jets appointed a captain of the team, I think his last name was Holman or something, or Holmes, and they appointed him the captain of the team because of the fact that he was this talented player. But he had no business being a captain because he hadn't built that relationship to be a leader and nobody on the team followed him. Right? I think I read that the statistic is that there's like, I think people in management positions, like 40% of people, I think it's the percentage that are in management positions have absolutely no management leadership skills at all. Right. And that's, you know, it, it's it's like, well, you know, I, I um, because I'm very big on on merit. I, I believe that if you if you do something, then you should get something, right? And I believe that if you if you're if you show me all the leadership qualities, then you should be uh, promoted to a certain position, or you know you, you deserve it over somebody else. I don't believe that somebody should be promoted, whether you know in any any aspect of anything, whether it's teams or or business. Um, if you don't deserve it just because, oh, well, he's got more talent than you. So we're just going to appoint him because it's all about leadership, right? Because you're going to follow people. And it goes back to making sure that you put your oxygen mask on first, making sure that you're squared away first, making sure that you have all of your stuff squared away so that you can take care of other people. And one of my, um, when I first got into the state defense force, one of my, uh, my, my lieutenant, 
my lieutenant. Um, he was my first CO. Um, and he said, um, it, it was, it was so, I've heard it before, but the way he said it, it was just one of those, like the light shines down on you moments. And he was like, you know, <laughs> managers manage things. Leaders lead people. You lead people, you manage things. That's why you, if you go to quick trip at, you know, one o'clock in the morning, because on a road trip, um, yeah. <laughs> You might only find one person in there and they're considered the night manager. What the heck are you managing? You know, what are you managing? There's nothing to manage. There's nobody here. You don't have any staff. It's just you. Oh, you're managing the snack bar. That's what you're doing. So you're not really man you're not really leading anybody. You're just you're managing. You're managing things. And I think we get that confused. And I want to take this a step further. Right. Because once you got your stuff squared away, then you can help other people. Right. Then you can be a valuable asset to the team. And now we don't have to worry about you. Um, but I want to take this a step further because this is a perfect time in, in this is I mean, America is a perfect time for everything at any time. But this is a perfect time because of covid and people are at home losing their jobs. This is a perfect time for people to step up and start a home based business. Right. Because everybody's at home anyway. Right. So this is a great, you know, some people have lost their jobs, unfortunately, but other people are like, hey, you know what? I don't have to travel anymore. I'm, I'm saving a three hour commute to and from work. I can put that towards another residual income stream. Boom. But if you're doing that, you just fall into that, right? You know, there's no, there's some, a lot of home-based businesses, they're just handed to you. And you're turned into like being a, a, a guy with a lot of talent, but no leadership squ- uh, uh, ability. Mm-hmm. Is now now you're in a role that you need to become and step up and be a leader, but you're not you're not a leader, and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to um, uh, stop you from starting a home based business, right? You but you you have to increase your personal development. You have to put your oxygen mask on first. You have to increase your personal development. You have to learn leadership skills. It's not going to just come. You know, people start a home-based business and they think, well, just because I can start a home-based business that just makes me a leader, people are just going to follow me. I'm just going to take my affiliate link or my web link and I'm just going to plaster it all over people and all over pages and say, this is the worst thing that I hate, okay? For all of you guys out there that are starting home-based businesses, please do not do this. This is the dumbest thing that you can do. And if you really want to turn friends and family off, do the, do this, Okay, but if you don't and you want to save yourself at the end of the day and you actually want to become a leader and make some money, um, don't do this. Um, one of the worst things you can do is put your link up and say, hey, check this link out. And if you if you if, if you like it, let me know. <laughs> That's like managing quick trip at one o'clock in the morning. There's no leadership in that. People aren't going to follow you. People aren't going to click the link because there's no there's no value in that. You're not leading people. You're not giving them value. You're not offering them anything. You're not helping them change their lives. The whole thing about being a leader is changing people's lives. Whether it's whether you are a manager, um, uh, you know, a manager, or um, in a in a position where you only have one or two people on a team, or you're leading an entire company in the military. I mean, you, every every step, right? There's leadership, and you step up as you keep moving. You keep moving up, but just because you fall into or you're handed because of politics, you're handed something, or you know, you're the 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 um the team. What is it? Coach. I don't know why I couldn't even say that. I've <laughs> uh, been a coach forever, and I didn't really in my title. Um, but uh, even you know, if your coach appoints you, you have to you have to move up. You have to step up. You have to step into it. And personal growth and personal development isn't something like a plaque on a wall where you just put it up and you're like, okay, I'm done. Man, I mean, how many books do I have? But that's an that's a that's a forever journey. And people say, I, I remember people saying, "Well, don't you don't, haven't you read enough? Haven't you learned enough?" Man, once you stop learning, brother, once you stop learning, sister, you're done. You always have to learn more. There's always something else. And so what? Yeah, okay, I've read a lot of books that regurgitate the same things in a different way. But how many times have, have I told you something or how many times has your wife or your or husband or somebody told you something, your mom or dad, and you didn't listen? And then somebody that you don't even know told you the exact same freaking thing and you were like, oh my God, it's an epiphany. I remember, so for an example, I had a client, his name is John. And the reason why we're going to call him John is because his name was John. <laughs> and I've been telling him for years. I don't even remember what it was. Lacrosse ball. Yeah. Okay. So it was a I remember. lacrosse ball. So I was telling him, I said, dude, you need to get a lacrosse ball and you need to roll and stuff. No, it was about water. 
No, that was, was something else. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> the lacrosse ball was the double lacrosse ball. Like, yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen the double. Like, they make them that way. But Nathan had an old school where he took two and taped them together. Ghetto lacrosse ball hookup. Before they came out with the double. So, I, you know. You got to do what you got to do to survive in South Central. You know? Yeah, or Atlanta. Or wherever you are <laughs> in the world. I don't know. I just but anyways, out. the point is. Yeah, the point is, basically, the point is, I've been telling him this for years. Or And, and the other thing was, I was that. telling him, I was telling him, drink water. Drink 128 <laughs> ounces of water. And he came in. And I was also about the freaking vegetables. And I was telling him about vegetables. <laughs> and he came in with all these epiphanies. Oh, my God. Dude, if you drink, a, if, if you, as if me, if you drink 128 ounces, man, if you drink a gallon of water a day, do you realize how, how much better you'd feel? No, it didn't freeze. I just had a moment because I'm thinking, are you serious? I drink 120, I drink a gallon of water every single day and you're going to come in? I've been telling you this for years and you're making it sound like it's your idea. Not that I need credit for it, but it's the fact that I've been telling him that for years and he read because some cute girl in a bikini told him to read, you know, water, you know, drink water, <laughs> that he's going to drink water. I mean, dude, if the bikini girl did it for you, right? Then my, by, if we got you to a gallon of water, we got you to a gallon of water. That's fine. It's not me. I don't care. But this is the fact that you come in regurgitating my own thing back at me as if it was an, a, your epiphany, Maybe your, it was your the idea. Bikini. It, Maybe it, it could didn't have been. matter if it was a girl in a bikini. I, I'll be you honest with you. To wear the bikini. I mean, you know, there's a cute girl in a bikini walk, and she said, "Drink water." I'd be like, I, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know. Maybe he just needed to see you in the bikini. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, 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 that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Mean, so that's uh, that's where we were going with this. All right? Oxygen mask on first. That's right. You have to, yourself. in order to be a leader, right? If you're going to lead a team, you have to lead from the front. I always, and I always, my thing, the way I've always, I, I, I ran my gym, I coach. Um, I always, I will never ask any anybody that I'm training, I'm coaching, I'm, I'm my subordinates, anybody. I will never expect them to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. Um, and I will never expect them to do something that, that's just above, above what they do because I've already been there. I've already done it. So if I'm expecting you to do something, it's because I know that I know that it can be done. You may not at this point, but that's, a, that's another thing about leadership is helping people get to, from where they are and maybe some disbelief to the other side, the epiphany to get to the other side and realize, Hey, you know what? I can do this too. Because sometimes all we need is a cheerleader in our corner, someone to just say, Hey, you can do this. I got you, right? But you have to know leadership. You have to be a real, a true leader. And just because somebody's appointed a title, just because you um, decide to start a home-based business or, you know, you have nothing else to do does not make you a leader. It's not just a, a title doesn't make it. You have to, you have to show it every single day, every single day. You know, you pass a test and then all of a sudden you don't, you move on to the next thing. Life is a, a, a series of tests every single day, and you have to pass every day. It's an endurance test. It really is. And in, in like this kind of stuff shows you get discouraged. People, you know, will put a freaking affiliate link on a Facebook page, uh, a post, and say, hey, check this out and, and let me know if you're interested. And then they get discouraged and upset because nobody, nobody reached out to them. I can't do this. Well, because you didn't do anything. Anybody can post what, what value, there's no value. You got to bring value. The reason why some people make more money than other people is because of the value that they bring to the marketplace. That's why America is so freaking great. Because if you bring value to people, if you're helping millions of people, then one, you're creating value for the world. And two, I believe that you should get paid royally for your value and leaders get paid. So there's two, th there's two different people in the world. There's leaders and there's followers. Step up. Let your voice be heard. Everybody's got a good voice out there. Everybody's got something in them that they could bring and, and create value. So rather than worrying about other people and, and other things, be, become the leader. But it starts with you. Then it starts with your family. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, are you flexing? Mm-hmm. Right. Kenzie, I'm It's not even a, Friday. She's I'm, flexing. I'm wearing a turtleneck. Yeah. <laughs> so... But yeah, it starts with you. You gotta square yourself away first. You gotta put your oxygen mask on first. And then you can start working with small people like in your family. Then you start working in your community or you work in your in your, your job. And then if you got a home-based business, people are gonna lean on you all the time. We get up early and we stay up late. And I, I don't I don't have it all figured out. 
Even being in the game since I was 19 years old, there's still things I'm learning. There's still things I screw up on. She's very quick to call me out on my screw ups. But it's all about being a leader. You got to be humble. You got to know when you got no one to apologize. You got to know when to say, hmm, I'm not sure how to do this. But then rather than wallowing in your self pity and following, you got to put your, find your oxygen mask, read the directions and get back to work. I wonder how many of you that w that are going to watch this replay started thinking of the song by Kenny Rogers, Know When to Hold Them. Did you guys start singing that when Know When to Fold Them? I should get my ukulele out and play. You should. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's all I got for that you today. That is all for this Saturday. Is there anything else you want to input, ma'am? That is all. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end this video as I began, like this, like a cardboard cutout. I don't remember how I began. I don't either, but I see. I did. Yeah. Like this. You're adorable. <laughs> all right. Hearts, likes, wows, happy faces, Care Bear stares. Make sure. Well, make sure you're drinking 128 ounces of water. Just do it. Just do it. John says. <laughs> John, if you're watching, man, I haven't seen you forever. John, if you're watching, we I miss, love you. We, we miss, miss you. you. We miss you. <laughs> so I wasn't even going to bring you into this, but I did. And I threw you under the bus, and I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. All right. You guys have a fantastic day out there. That's right. It's all about love. All right. Until next time, start strong, finish stronger.